So after two, maybe three years at community college, you're finally able to transfer to a four-year university. And congrats, it's a huge accomplishment. Not a lot of people at community college could make the jump of transferring to a four-year university. And I was one of the lucky few as well, being able to transfer from my community college to UC Berkeley. But I remember feeling on top of the world, like I finally made it. I was able to accomplish something so great, but that just wasn't the reality once I started school at UC Berkeley. And it's probably something you're gonna face once you start school as well. So this video is going to let you know the brutal reality of transferring from a community college because community college just simply doesn't prepare you for the four-year university. But with this video, I'm going to give you a heads up on what to expect and also how to prepare for success. So with that, let's get right into the video. So getting started with academics and below, I'm going to have timestamps of each category and their subtopics. So if there's a category that resonates more with you, go ahead and check that out. But with academics, as you might expect, and I kind of did go into Berkeley kind of like knowing that academics at Berkeley is going to be a lot harder than my community college but i didn't really realize how much of a jump it's going to be because like for myself and maybe you as well community college was kind of a breeze i would consider it easier than high school and i was really using resources to study like quizlet or chegg to do well on my exam what do you mean by that so I would say community college was like a piece of cake. During my time at community college, I really didn't have to like try as hard. I know in high school, I tried a lot more harder during like my AP classes. So I feel like my time at community college, I really didn't push myself as much as I know I could have, but that completely changed when I transferred. And I realized the amount of effort that I was putting at community college, the same effort at Cal, it just wasn't gonna work. I had to put a lot more work in. I had to study at the library actually. And it was kind of difficult remembering how much work I had to put in to getting a good in a class like how I did in high school so it was a big learning curve on getting my work ethic back to where it once was and generally in community college there's a lot of people in your classes that are probably just gonna drop out and not make the jump to going to a four-year university so you'll be in a classroom with like a lot of people that are just like unmotivated I really just don't care about their studies that are kind of like forced to be there but with a four-year university obviously everybody there is very competitive everybody wants to be there since they're paying so much tuition they're putting more effort into their studies so I saw this as one of the major differences as well and in my community college I was kind of like the main star in my classes but when I transferred to my four year I was kind of just like in the middle of the pack again trying to compete to get a good grade in the class and overall the exams at a four-year university are a lot more harder because the professors expect more out of their students even though they're teaching about the same curriculum since they expect more out of the students they make the classes a lot more harder so classes are no longer a breeze and you have to put the work in because at some schools they go based off a curve so you're competing with people directly in your class so academically those are some things to look out for when you transfer to your four-year university and moving on to the career focus on what to expect and I would say this is the major difference when transferring to community college and why community colleges don't prepare you so career-wise when I was transferring I had spent my years at community college just focusing on getting into a four-year university I didn't really put much thought into what I wanted to do after college I knew I wanted to do something business related and I kind of knew what jobs are out there but I really didn't put a plan to actually achieving and getting into those careers and at least for business related careers a really helpful resource is getting internships during college and for myself I was just so focused on getting into a four-year that I kind of just pushed off all my career aspirations to the side to focus on getting into my four-year so with this when I finally transferred I noticed that I was severely behind when it came to career stuff compared to my peers and I really put the blame on like college professors and also advisors for not putting in enough of a career focus into students they mainly focus on getting them out to transferring rather than getting them prepared for their career as well after college and it's not even impossible to getting an internship while at the community college there's so many programs out there for college students and especially DC students to getting internships and breaking into the careers that they want to get into but I just didn't research any of these because internships were just not on my radar so when I finally got to Cal it was a major wake-up call to see how behind I was on recruiting so because I was behind I kind of just jumped into like any internship that I could get into so because of this, I didn't really enjoy my junior internship. And due to this, I'm taking an extra semester so I could get one more internship underneath my belt because I just wasn't prepared career-wise going into Cal. And it wasn't even like I wasn't trying my hardest to get up to speed. I was doing my best to apply to a bunch of clubs on campus, but the thing with Cal is that their clubs are very competitive. And also they kind of like discriminate against junior transfers because they want students that are either freshmen or sophomores. So that's something you might experience at your school as well. And also just having to recreate my resume 
resume towards the careers that I wanted to apply to because even though I did have a resume, it was just not business professional to the careers that I wanted to apply to. So it took a lot of work and a lot of hours to getting up to speed. But despite this, I was still behind. People that got into Cal as a freshman, they weren't worried about transferring into the college. They were more focused about their academics and also what did they want to do after college. So their focuses were a lot different rather than community college transfers when we're focused mainly on transferring out of CC. So I would really emphasize trying to figure out what you want to do after college, fixing up your resume, and just trying to create a plan to breaking into the industry that you want to get into, regardless if that's business, computer science, pre med route, or any industry that you want to go into. So overall, be prepared to play catch up career wise when you transfer to your four year university. And lastly, socially. So when I first got to Cal, I knew nobody. Nobody from my old high school went there. And I just knew zero people that went to Cal because I just didn't expect to go there in the first place. So I remember my first week there, I still went out even though I had zero friends and I was able to meet people. But then again, the reality of things as a transfer is that most people already have their cliques, they already have their friend groups already going into junior year. And whatever school that you transfer to, generally it's a lot bigger than your community college. So there's gonna be an ocean of people and you're gonna kind of feel alone, kind of isolated and to kind of combat making friends as a junior transfer. I really recommend like joining either like Greek life or any clubs on campus. Usually you should join a club that's like career orientated and also one that's fun like a rock climbing club or something like that and these are a great way to meet people because generally as a junior transfer people as juniors should they just don't want to make new friends people aren't just like as receptive to making friends compared to them as a freshman and also if there's any like transfer organizations or clubs on campus i would 100 percent recommend that you try to like get involved with the transfer community because i know at my school cal um, when i first got in there was a transfer instagram where like everybody posted major a picture of themselves and a lot of people were able to make friends through that and another good option if you're like 21 plus just go to your local like college bar and you can meet a lot of people there too as well but overall transferring from a community college is not easy and it's something a lot of people don't talk about and community colleges don't prepare you for the realities as a transfer and i hope this doesn't scare you because I, it's a, still a huge accomplishment to be able to transfer from a cc not a lot of people are able to do that so congrats on that but with that that wraps up my video i hope you guys got some value out of it and with that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Oh,